Hey everybody, Edo here, and today we have Jimmy and the guys from Board Game Closet reviewing Legends of Andor. A two to four player cooperative game, super unique, super awesome. They'll tell you more. Thanks. Bye. Hey, my name's Jimmy. I'm Tim. I'm Rod. Today we're going to be talking to you about a game that we absolutely love. Sometimes it's hard to find a game that all three of us agree on that we love, but this is one of them. It's called Legends of Andor. It's put out by Fantasy Flight. It's a fully cooperative game, and we want to tell you why we love it. So, Tim, tell us. Okay, I love this game because... Uh, for a complex game like this, it's really easy to get into. It gives you, instead of telling you like, hey, read this huge rule book with all these rules, it gives you a quick start guide on play this game. Uh, so it really, the rules are just taking you through your first game you're going to have. There's specific tokens just for the first game, and the first game only, you won't ever use them again. <laughs> and it's beautiful because it gets your people into the game and playing the game. Um, and those, even though you're never going to use them again, they're super important because of that aspect only. And so it doesn't even have like a huge uh, rule book just as a reference guide on, on certain tokens and stuff, and a couple questions that might come up. Uh, other than that, you just sit down and play the game. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so why do you love it? Uh, the pieces are awesome. <laughs> okay, so first of all, the artwork. Uh, this is a double-sided game board. Uh, one's like inside the dungeon and one's outside. They both have components of both on both sides. But anyway, uh, the artwork is fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, it really puts you into the game. It's simplistic the way it should be, but it's fun. I mean, this you know, just the two cardboard pieces to make the dragon. It's just it's yeah. just really neat. I mean, it's just everything they put together on this game is quality. Mm -hmm. And like between the cards being thick, the card stock being thick, Big but everything's cards, but everything's meant to be mm -hmm. simple. So it's not overdone. It was you know it was a, a game price was a good price for mm -hmm. the game. So they kept the price down on the game. I mean it's just a really I just really enjoy the game. It's, it very much pulls you into the game because of the artwork and everything. Totally. I, I really like this game because of the, how it actually plays. Like to me, getting into this game and playing it, like Tim said, you're into it quickly. You get your character. You can build your character up. You can buy stuff at the store. You can, you know, he's got hit points and powers. And then the best part to this game for me is it's fully cooperative. You know that I, I don't know. I just there's something about playing a game where one guy has to be the bad guy. Um, and I know that sometimes that's a, some people love it, but for me, <laughs> like having this fully cooperative so at the end of the day I feel like we all won or we all lost is huge to me and the theme uh, I just really like the theme I like that you get to be this player and then play through these scenarios the legends continually get bigger and harder and you're fighting more um, something else that the game does really well along the fully cooperative aspect is uh, all of these guys all the enemies that you're going to be fighting move in a certain order they move in certain directions based off of uh, there's arrows on the board that kind of a thing so you don't even have to worry about what's going to happen and you even know maybe what's going to happen a lot of times and so you can kind of work together to make that happen so at the end of the game it's really like a puzzle that you're trying to figure out together and you're working through and it, um, things happen in the game and things trigger as you go throughout the game so keeps you on your toes and it changes things up and you don't know what's coming and I don't know it's just it's a ton of fun so I think it's the first game where all three of us <laughs> gave it greens on our on our side so I mean yeah. I, I just really I really am enthralled with the game the guy thought out every little aspect from a guy to a girl version <laughs> either or cards and, so and they, they had the tokens too they have the tokens and all these well. cards that play out as your legend progresses it actually flips up and tells you the story and then tells you what happens and how to progress this the the story on the actual board yeah. and how it's going to affect you just so well done yeah. I mean, it was just awesome yep so from rules to components artwork to the story to actually how it plays we think that this is a game that you would probably absolutely Absolutely love, right? Yeah. Well, I think it's a must-have for anybody. Anybody who has a set of games must have this one. Add this to it. So, yeah. thanks for the opportunity to do a little guest review uh, today, and maybe check out Legends of Andor. It might fit for you. And that was Board Game Closet reviewing Legends of Andor. Very cool stuff. Subscribe, share, all that jazz. More importantly, play some good games. Thanks. Bye.